And the trademark, I think, then becomes an important thing. And I, and I use this terminology a lot, but this, this notion of building a narrative or a storyline. The great thing about life, whether you're, whether you're a senior person in an organisation or you're just starting up, there, there is something which has got you to this point. And the reason why I like to use these terms, because I think one of the critical components of leadership is how you prepare to personalise the, your, you know, your, your leadership style. And there's a lot of great uh, work at the moment. And one of the books which had a very big influence on, on, on myself was a book by the, but by, uh, had great influence on me, was a book by the name of, of Authentic Leadership uh, by a fellow by the name of Bill George. And, and the reason why he talked about it is that personalising leadership, as, in, as it relates to your, your particular way, your personality, your human characteristics, is, is, a, is, is the key component of it because you can create some authenticity or you've got a hope of creating authenticity with your leadership style. It's when people show a lack of authenticity, particularly now when it's, you know, we're being uh, judged at so many levels all the time, that you actually end up creating that gap, that perception gap, which then really people lose respect. So both your trademark and therefore the storyline that emerges from that, or the thing which has actually got you to the point where you've created your trademark from, as in, is in the experiences that you've had in life, to, to give yourself something where you feel comfortable enough about standing in front of a group of people to say, okay, this is what I am and this is what, this is what I stand for, is very, very important. And obviously a narrative is building all the time. It's a much different narrative uh, at, in your mid-40s as it was in your mid-20s. And, and I had the opportunity of having an official leadership role. I was, I was general manager of Richmond when I, when I was 24, but it was well before I'd really established all of these things. And, and I think it really, and as a result, I was, I was terribly out of my depth at, uh, at different stages because of that. But it, because of those experiences I'd had at that stage, it's now created the things which uh, have meant the world to me as far as where I, where I sit with it today. And, I, and you can always feel within yourself that it's always emerging and, it, and it's always growing. Personalising uh, these things is important, and, and I'll talk a little bit about, about my own situation now. My, my own trademark uh, I describe as this. It's, it's, called, it's called finding something. At different stages of life, and, and whether it's just dealing with the day-to-day -day responsibilities of being a, a CEO of a footy club, particularly you know, when, you, when you're going through things where, you, where, you, where there are setbacks, and, and probably the hardest part still, I would say, is when you're part of the team which gets beaten badly, where you're the person who's got to wake up the next morning and, and, and talk positively and openly about what we are, or, or, or you've got to, you know, you, you're faced with an enormous amount of criticism and you, you, your first, your first uh, feeling is to, to fight or to, you know, to be really defensive about where you're actually at, is that you have to find something and you have to find something within you. The same way as a, as a parent, you have to find something. You know, if you're, if you're uh, really tired when you come home from work and, uh, and your child, uh, it's time to go to bed or it's bath time, it's all, those, it's all those sorts of things. Or you read a book to your, your child before they actually go to sleep. It's all those things where you, you know, the, the last thing you, you probably want, or the thing you want to do is just you know, curl up in front of the telly, but there's other demands which are being made of you as a parent. Or there are times when you've had disappointing situations as, as a parent where you, you know, your, your child might have got into trouble or found themselves in difficulty, where you have to find something Something within yourself, which um, which again can model the behaviour for you as a parent to that to that particular child, is is a challenging thing. And and there's probably no greater form of leadership than parenting in in so many ways. And even much you know we talk about footballers being role models. Well, well parents are the they're the critical role models, and there can be no disguising that. But the finding something uh, notion came to me actually when um, when I when I had a really uh, challenging period of life, probably probably two. Uh, times in life where I've, I've really been challenged by by situations and circumstances, and, and the first of that, I, I lost my father around 17 years ago. He'd been, he was my he was my hero. He was someone who who meant the world to me. He was a person. The reason I I loved the game of football, and and I had the opportunity of um, of working in the same industry as what he'd worked in, and uh, and people people um, know my story in in regard to that. So, but that notion where when he when he passed away, probably not only losing the hero, but also the context on the thing that you actually loved, which was the game of Australian footy, was probably lost. And and again, I had to find something because of the responsibility I had as a family member at that time, but also the responsibilities I'd taken on in life at, at that stage as well. The second one was uh, actually relates to 
my, my relationship with the, the Melbourne Football Club was when um, in 1999 uh, I, I was sacked as, as CEO of, of the footy club and I was sacked in a, in a really public way in a very difficult and, uh, and challenging time for me and in fact I was unemployed for uh, the next 10 months, couldn't get, a, couldn't get work anywhere and, and there was a period of time where you know, I, I spent much of that time pretty well feeling sorry for myself and, and, uh, and found it very difficult to, to, to cause a, a little bit like with the, the loss of my father, the thing which I'd actually often defined my personality, my person by was what I did which is a habit, uh, an unfortunate habit of many, uh, of many males uh, and so therefore the very thing which, by which I, I contextualised my life was actually lost for that, that whole period of time and it took a, a good 10 months before I was actually getting any form of job and I was very fortunate that I was able to get work at the time as, uh, as, as CEO of, uh, of AFL.com having applied for you know, tens and 20 jobs probably in the meantime and which ultimately then led to the opportunity of going to Fremantle and, and being the CEO of the club so I got myself back on my feet. But the, the, the terminology of finding something where I realised probably uh, Within, within myself, I've been able to develop enough, um, an, enough uh, uh, belief for, to, to, to continue to, uh, to strive for the things that you thought you were still capable of at a time when perhaps other people didn't was, it becomes a real defining thing. And I've now, and I use this, uh, that same trademark as a means by which even uh, when it comes to your health, your fitness, your family, your relationships, everything around you becomes a, a critical driver. And, and, I, and I probably, I only live up to about one fifth of my expectations probably in, in lots of ways in terms of that, that particular, that particular uh, exercise. But to go through and say, okay, well, that is the thing. And, and it's now stood the test of time for some, you know, I reckon probably 10 years where I've, I've had that same, that, that same personal trademark and the interesting thing is perhaps as it relates to this uh, this narrative uh, is an important one because it find, I find myself drawn to responsibilities in, and roles in life whereby um, I, I like to be in, in something which is at a challenging stage and, and coming back to Melbourne you know with the difficulties uh, that we faced is something which uh, I really enjoy because I, I think it relates again back to the back to the very trademark of which I, I would, I would utilise to actually define my approach to, uh, to my, my working life and perhaps other parts of my life as well. So, but in summary, what we're looking for in, in regard to this, this notion of leadership, to give it the authenticity is make, make sure you're always prepared to personalise leadership. Don't, don't feel as though you have to be anything other than, you're, than you are. There's this notion of the charismatic leader is, you know, that, that went out years ago. You can, you can lead in a way which is consistent. You see guys like a, a Bill Gates who was the nerd at school who's been a great leader uh, in, in, in regard to what he's been able to do both in commercial life but also in, in, in his the more charitable things that he gets involved with. So it, it doesn't... Let's not expect that it has to be. There are charismatic leaders, but you don't have to be that, certainly. And personalise it. Give it that capacity to personalise it through. You know, in fact, first of all, understand you've got to model the behaviours that you're seeking to get from other people. But you know, what is your trademark? And base it on, on the storyline of, of your life. And everyone has a narrative and a storyline which is, which is emerging for them as, uh, as, as just as we go through life. And, and the good thing about all that is it's not that complicated. It, it's actually really clean and, and it's really simple. And, and give yourself the opportunity. And, and even this week, we, had, we don't have a game. I always take myself away for a couple of days and I'll give some thought to, to the things which you, you know define you as a person. Because if you haven't got a good sense of that, well, there's no way you can actually ever expect to be a leader at any time. So I hope you get some value from this and uh, I look forward to the weekend's break and I uh, look forward to catching up at the next Whiteboard Wednesday. Thanks very much.